What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Buccaneers franchise. We are finally in the Super Bowl. Tyler Chambers rookie season, and we made it to the big game. Now, we are going up against a very good team in the Baltimore Ravens, but we have been destroying teams and really showing some great poise on offense all throughout the playoffs and to close out the season. I, I didn't see us being in this situation. I, I've told you guys that before. But things happen, right? We ended up making it work. We get the job done. We move on after demolishing the Falcons. But now it's coming down to, is this going to carry over into the Super Bowl, right? We've been here before in some franchises. We've been here with other teams where it's like, things just go perfectly well all the way through the season. And then we get to the big game and all of a sudden disaster, right? Something crazy happens. So Will this finally be the time where I can, you know, get us a legitimate Super Bowl, but do it with, uh, and finally do it without like simming or having some crazy thing happen with the fatigue or anything, anything like that. Like just a straight up Super Bowl win. And let's take a look at what the Ravens have done all season long leading up to this point. Lamar Jackson having an outstanding season, 4,042 yards, 35 touchdowns, only three interceptions. Now, of course, we know it's the sim stats. How is he going to play in the actual game? That is something that, you know, we're going to have to find out. We have seen them before. They have done some damage to us before. We know that they are lethal. So, of course, led by Lamar Jackson, veteran quarterback. They have Ramondre Stevenson in tow, and he had a pretty good season. 1,000 yards, 11 touchdowns. Lamar Jackson, of course, adding a bunch of stats from his own standpoint in the rushing game. Just as you would expect, 819 yards, 9 touchdowns. Elijah Witherspoon, the second year man, is sort of the relief runner, I guess, if you will, for Stevenson. Their receiving core has been pretty spread out, it feels like. Zay Flowers is leading with yards, but Mark Andrews leads in receptions. And then Rashid Shahid leads in touchdowns. They have a very quality receiving core for Lamar Jackson to use, and we're going to have to be ready for every single one of them. And then on defense, of course, the captain, Roquan Smith, he has been a beast ever since he came over to Baltimore. And they have another young prospect that looks very promising in Martin Truman, second year man at defensive end, 11 and a half sacks on the season. Justin Matabuki is right behind him at nine sacks. And then it's Deron Payne with six and a half. Odafe away. I'm sure I said that wrong. Three and a half. Kyle Hamilton back in the secondary. We know he is a very, very good player. 95 overall superstar X Factor. He is going to be all over us in the run game. He, we know he can play back in the backfield for the, the deep zones. So, again, I mean, you don't make it to the Super Bowl without being a tremendous all-around team, and that is what the Ravens are. They have a very good quality defense. They have a great receiving core for Lamar Jackson, and they have a pretty good running back on Ramondre Stevenson. I think he complements Jackson very well. And, in fact, Lamar Jackson was the MVP of this season. So it doesn't surprise me, given his stat line and where he's got this team, he deserves it. So this week, it's going to be a tough call for me because part of me thinks that we should really stick to the run. But the other part of me thinks that the rushing that we are going to be doing or the rushing that we'll have to be defending is not just going to be inside. We're going to have to worry about Lamar Jackson running, but it's not enough for me to want to do defend QB scramble or contain QB scramble because it just puts us at a, a very tough spot. Or if they try to do anything other than run, right? Our pass rush isn't going to be as fierce. Um, we might end up having people overcommit in the second level, which could lead to some big plays over the middle for them. I still think that passing might be the best way to go. Considering how much they have spread the ball around, there's a lot of playmakers. Not even talking about Mark Andrews. They have three really good receivers that have been playing lights out. Mark Andrews, of course, also playing lights out. So I feel like this week we're going to go back to defend medium pass. And then on the offensive side of the ball, I think blitz counter is actually a pretty good spot to be in. You know, they blitz 33% of the time, and it doesn't matter who they got on this defense. The Ravens are known for blitzing and, and creating pressure, and I, and I don't want us to be caught off guard with that. So we're going to go with blitz counter on the offensive side of the ball, and that is going to bring us to our weekly game plan goals. I feel like in this game, if we want to take home the Lombardi Trophy, we have to be able to make some plays through the air. So we're going to go for 350 yards. We're going big or going home. I'm going to go allow 20 points or less. I don't see this being a that low scoring of a game, but who knows? We've seen some weird stuff the last few weeks. And then on offense, we'll stick to 
We'll stick to 350, just like we did for the weekly game plan. And then head coach. I think we need to keep the ball out of Lamar Jackson's hands. So let's go for 15 plus first downs. Let's try and control the tempo of the game. It is Super Bowl time. We are in Atlanta for the big game. We got the Jets flying over. And it is about time for kickoff as we hit the field. Everything comes down to this game for the season. We have had an up and down year for sure, but a lot of ups lately. But so have the Ravens. And it's going to come down to which one can put together a final stand to get that trophy. Man, it would be pretty amazing if we can get home and get ourselves a trophy for this week because i really am sick and tired of not getting any trophies in, in my franchises okay this has been going on for a little bit you know with the vikings and texans franchise and with madden 24 coming to a close it would be nice to be able to close it off with a super bowl all right and on to the field we go we are going to be starting off on defense today as lamar jackson and company hit the field for the first time we saw the stats before the game we don't need to see him again but we're going to anyway because that's the only thing Madden can put on the screen at the beginning of a game. And here we go. First and 10. Right away, it's a read option immediately to Lamar Jackson. And he is... Oh, it's a fumble! Oh, my God. We almost got the ball immediately. Wow. That would have been... That would have been a pretty big turning point there for us. But the run counts. They get the ball back. Jackson now through the air. A quick strike to Andrews right over the top of our linebacking core. I don't know what we're celebrating for. We just gave up 21 yards. Winfield's got to calm down, man. This is the Super Bowl. We don't, we don't celebrate that. Here we go. Jackson again. A quick one to Andrews. This one for a much quick, uh, shorter gain. Still a good gain of nine as they march right down the field already in field goal range second and one Jackson another pass and he dumps it down to Stevenson who breaks free from the first defender and finds his way down to the 13 big play there I thought that was broken up but Stevenson holds on turns it into a first down and the Ravens in the red zone underneath again and it looks as if they took the medium pass defense that we have put up against them this week and are immediately going to attack the underneath part where we're going to be having a little bit of difficulty keeping things in check. And now it's a handoff to Stevenson trying to push forward and he will, but he will be short of the first down by just a yard, third and one. And they are going to spread us out wide. Four receivers set here. Jackson takes a snap. Quick throw, almost intercepted. It was Anthony Moore breaking the pass up. And Baltimore is going to have to end up settling for three points. Oh, never mind. Okay, Super Bowl week means you're going to be more aggressive. Fourth and one, they're going for it. Jackson, quick one, end zone, it's a touchdown. Big time score. And it's Spencer Johnson, the tight end getting in there for the touchdown and now it is time for our chance on offense we are gonna have to come out here with a vengeance though if that's how the ravens are opening up and you know i said it's not gonna be a low scoring game we got to try and find a way to control their offense we're gonna start with samuel who gets a big run and we're gonna get a big 20 yard gain ourselves on the opening play taquan samuel coming in immediately and we saw he had a pretty big day last week for us. Since Rashad White decided to check himself out. And speaking of Rashad White, there he goes. Juke move to the outside and a gain of nine. They'll say 10, but that ball is way short of the first. I guess they're going to give us a, a nice a nice spot. Second in inches. Samuel in the backfield. And he's going to take the handoff, cuts it up. And he's got a big lane himself. 40, 35, breaking free. And finally tracked down at the 27. What a run from Taquan Samuel. I mean, I can't take away the credit from the line because the line 
parted that defense like the Red Sea. That was incredible to see. And Samuel just hit the, hit the speed boost and gets himself a big run. That's 40-something yards for him on two touches. And now we finally go to the air. Chambers looks short. He's got Godwin out of bounds. A short gain of five. And it was Humphrey in on the coverage. Three split to the left. And it's play action. Chambers going to Blake. And it's another completion. Both offenses moving right down the field with ease. First and 10. Chambers looking right side again, and once again he finds Godwin. Two plays now for Godwin on that short little out route. And both times we're able to connect a total of 12 yards. Sets us up nicely here at the four. We have one more chance at a first down before scoring. And White is gonna get buried behind the line. He got buried by Freeman. And he's going to be back at the eight-yard line now. Third and seven. Oh, we got Gibbons up top one-on-one. -on -one. Let's see what we do here. Chambers going to him. And it was incomplete. He tried to squeeze it in between the defenders. But they had too good a coverage. And I think that we're going to have to... Yeah, we're going to take the points. And fourth and seven is a little bit different than fourth and one from down here. Let's take the points. Let's try and keep some pace going. It's up. It's good. Not what we wanted, but we did get points. Little, almost like a full house look here. And it's a read option. Ryan Neal sniffed it out. He saw it coming. You saw him come flying up from that safety spot. Saw it last drive. Did not want to see another 20-yard chunk taken out of our defense again. And it'll be a loss of two for Baltimore. They're going to go to the air. Jackson, deep left side. It's incomplete, but there's a flag down. It was Flowers, the intended target. And it's going to be a pass interference on Carlton Davis. Oh, man, that is not good. It looked like both of them were fighting for the ball, but I, I don't know. But, hey, it happened. They got ball up to 46. Fresh set of downs. Jackson rolling right, takes a shot, and so does his receiver. Timmy Baker put the shot on Jackson. Weatherspoon, or Witherspoon, I'm sorry, the backup running back, making the catch for six and holding on. Quick snap here. Jackson again, a quick throw, and another big completion. This one to Rashad Bateman. The passing game has been lethal for the Ravens today. And they've been going right at the middle of the field too, just like the exact spot where we we're trying to slow them down. Another underneath route. And that one was Witherspoon again. Be able to get him six more yards. Or was that? Yeah, it was Witherspoon. It's hard to tell because both of them have long hair. So, like, I, I, I'm not sure. But it looks like, yeah, Stevenson with the long sleeves. Oh, what a move by Bateman to break free from Moore. Moore tried going for the big hit. Just did not line it up properly. Bateman either able to break free and get the fresh set. For Baltimore who is looking to, to really make this a, a double digit lead right now and oh my god we needed that oh Christian Izian was in the spot and he had all of the room in the world to completely flip the game on its head but he could not hold on second down Jackson off target that must have been miscommunication there the receiver was way too far inside for that to be. I, I just don't see Lamar Jackson being that off target with that throw going five yards. Third and 10. Jackson. Oh, what a play by White. He had Andrews there, but White able to get his paw up in the air and bat it down. And that's going to force a field goal from for Baltimore here. And while we... Still give up points. We are at least slowing it down. Last drive touchdown. This time only a field goal. And we go back to a seven-point deficit. Here we go. First and ten. Second drive. Chambers taking a shot deep down the field. And nobody goes for it. Humphrey got on top of Wharton, it looks like, and did not let him extend enough to get down the field to the ball. And man, if we could have completed that, that would have been that would have been incredible. Hand off to White. 
Breaks off of the first, not the second. Gain of seven. Third and three. Blitz is coming. We pick it up, and Chambers delivers a beautiful strike to Wharton over the middle, who turns back to the football to make the catch and prepare for the hits. And because of it, we're going to move the chains. That was a beautiful throw, too. He put it right on the outside of Queen, where he knew he could not get to him. And Wharton doing a good job of understanding the situation. Coming back to the ball. As we near the end of the first quarter, and Samuel got destroyed by Queen on that play. A loss of two. And that is going to bring us to the end of the first quarter. Now on second and 12. Shotgun formation for Chambers. Quick throw left side. It's completed to Wharton. And that's going to get us another first down. Wharton came alive last week. We haven't seen him really take over games and make a lot of noise for a while, but last week he really stepped it up. And we're hoping for the same this week. Play action over the middle again. This one to Palmer. It's completed down to the 25. Six of eight, 69 yards so far for Chambers as Palmer brings in his first catch. Another shotgun here, three split right. Blitz coming, and it forces a bad throw. Good job of the Ravens' defense. They sent the heat immediately. We tried to get it to the outlet there, but Chambers just didn't have enough time. White, I don't think, was expecting it that quickly. A lead to a second, a second and 10 here. Oh, and there's a big one to Godwin. Holding on through traffic like he always does. Gets it down inside the five. Pistol look here. Quick throw, it's almost intercepted. Oh my God, that was dangerous. Humphrey knew that was coming from the start. And he immediately inside shaded, got the positioning. Luckily for us, he could not hold on to it. Hand off, Samuel pushing forward and he's dropped at the one. One yard stands between us and a tie ball game here. Three tight ends set, one split out to the left, it's Wharton. Quick pass. Over the middle, touchdown, James Blake. Easy spot route for the touchdown, and we'll tie things up here on our first drive of the second quarter. After a quick drive that ended because our defense stepped up to the plate, shut them down, forcing a punt, we'll get the ball back here inside our own 20. We'll start off with a run for Rashad White. Gets a gain of two. And now if we can put something together again, we could get ourselves the lead. Chambers going deep left side, and oh, it's intercepted! A big play there from Williams. Oh, he was trying to go to, I believe it was, was it Chris Godwin over there for Wharton? And he just, he baited him. It was going to Palmer, and he just put it too much air on it. Williams saw it from the get-go, and does a beautiful job of closing the distance and getting in front of that ball. And now the, the Ravens, who sort of had to stumble from last drive, and we've slowed them down so far this, this game since the opening drive, are knocking on the door again. And a beautiful strike. You no, know, it's broken up. What a play by Duke Shelley, man. I thought he caught that. But it's broken up. Second and 10. We need a big stop here, though. We need something big. And, oh my God, this guy will just not go down. That was a great play. Mark Andrews catching the ball. And I swear he got hit like four times and just kept going forward and forward. He ended up getting like an extra five yards. Another quick one. That one broken up. And then it was caught. Are you kidding me? Rashid Shahid caught it off the tip. Down to the four. No way! Oh, they just did, a, they did an option! I've never seen that! The Ravens score! A play action, a triple option? Are you kidding? Or like a, a an option play? What is this? That's the first time I've ever seen that in this game. Like, from the CPU, of course. And it worked!
Hand off for Samuel. Uh, he gets around the corner, and he'll take it for eight yards as we're now down by seven once again. That is a that is a tough that's a tough call, man. I can't believe that play worked. But hey, hats off to them. They they called out our aggressive pursuit of Jackson when he takes the ball, and it worked out. They they lured us in on Jackson taking the ball to the end zone. He pitched it out to Stevenson, easy touchdown, and now we find ourselves here in a third down situation, third and four. Chambers looking deep again. He throws another interception. No way is this going to happen today. And now it's Saxton. Oh, no. We can't fall apart, guys. Back-to-back -back interceptions for the Ravens as they now have it again in field goal range. Up by seven. And this time, Jackson does keep it. And he's going to get seven yards. Not a bad run. I do, the thing I don't like is now that they know that we're reeling, they can really start to do what they really want to do, like like the ways to control the tempo of the game. And it's going to be tough for us to come back if we let them score another touchdown here. We got to we got to hold it in here. We got to hold them to three, or if obviously, of course, a, a, a turnover. As Johnson goes across the formation, handoff to Stevenson. He is shut down. It's Vita Vea and Devin White. And we are going to force that three points that we were looking for. And at least now it's a 10-point game. It's not a full two-touchdown game. But we need to get something figured out on offense. Chambers has got to calm down. Oh, no way. Oh, thank God. They went for a fake. <laughs> they went for a fake, and they threw it at to absolutely nobody. So now we're back in business. Tragedy avoided for one drive. We just need Chambers to calm down. Back to pass over the middle. This time he connects with Blake. And he's out to the 44. Very important connection there. Get some confidence built back up after the turnovers. Quick hit. No, it's read option. Chambers keeping it in himself. And he gets it down to the 45. Pickup of 11. I just, I don't want us to rely too heavily on that, but I like that we were able to pull it off, and now the defense has to think about that, right? They have to keep that in mind. And there goes Samuel right up the gut, down to the 30. Six carries, 68 yards. Samuel stepping it up big time here in the postseason. Chambers, quick one. Godwin, it's caught again. Another first down. That play brought us to the two-minute warning. We are at the 19-yard line. Chambers is going to dump it down to White, who gets past the first defender and reaching forward to the 11-yard line. Another nice gain of nine. It looked as if he was going to get tackled in the backfield, or at least at the line, but White using his quickness. Oh, and Chambers spots something, calling an audible on the play, flipping sides of the field here. Let's see what we go with. Second and one. Chambers back, quick throw, end zone, it's incomplete. He was looking for Palmer on the corner routes and Palmer did not get his feet down. The booth is going to review it. But that looks really, I mean, in real time, that looks very, oh. Now, uh, this is sort of the same thing. One. No, that foot's out. They can't count that a touchdown. Oh my God, they did. I think the refs are cheating for us, guys. That's the second touchdown where I'm a, I was a little hesitant on thinking it counts. And both times we have been given the ball. I'm sure Baltimore is not happy after that went our way as Jackson sends it on a line to Shahid over the middle for a gain of five. They have a minute and a half to work with, all three timeouts. Plenty of time here. Jackson, another shot over the middle to Bateman. And that'll get him a first down to the 40. Quick snap. Jackson looks short again. This one to Spencer Johnson, the tight end. And that's going to make them use their first timeout. Second and four. 101 to go. 
Blitz coming off the left side. They pick it up nicely, and Jackson delivers a beautiful throw to Flowers. It looked to be a post route, and that's going to get him into field goal range with plenty of time to take a few shots, really. I mean, two timeouts, 32 seconds left. They can sort of take their time at this point and know they're going to get points out of this drive. And Jackson throws it incomplete. It will stop the clock, so, I mean, it could have been a, a good thing, I guess. 27 seconds remain. Jackson back over the middle. A big shot. It falls incomplete. Bateman covered by Neal on the right side. Falls down to the turf. Third and ten. Another quick drop back. And, oh, my God, what a play by Winfield. Diving forward to break that pass up. And that is going to bring up fourth down and another field goal for Baltimore. Not a bad spot to be in, right? You only had a minute and a half, minute and 45 to start this drive. You still get points out of it. They're going to go into the half with a 20 to 17 lead. We are going to get a chance to open up this second half with the possession. As we come on the field now, down by three. It's been a back and forth game. This has been an incredible game, really. Let's see what we got here. Rashad White, why did you stutter step? Okay, I forgive you. I immediately forgive you. A big time run out to the 40. I was ready to yell at him. I really was, but then he, he went back and he found that lane again. So no harm, no foul. He fixed it. <laughs> First and 10. Another handoff to White, this time the opposite side. But they do a good job. And it was Marcus Williams getting up there to make the stop. Second and six. Single back set here for Samuel. Hand off to him. And man, they have that ready. Owe was off the edge and reading it like a book. Third and seven. I don't like that we're coming out here in an offset eye look on third and seven. Oh, we're going to throw out of it. And oh my God, he threw another one. He threw it right to him. There was like three defenders there, man. Rock you sin. Getting the third pick from Chambers. I, I mean, I just don't see where there's an opening here. I just don't see it. I, I, I can appreciate trying to get a big play, but you have to be smarter than that. Three turnovers? Now Jackson looking short. Little RPO to get him seven yards. What do you guys think about receivers wearing... Uh, Numbers in the 20s. I, I I can't stand it. I'm not going to lie. Second and three. Hand off to Stevenson. And he gets met immediately by quite a few of our defenders. As Vita Vea just chucks one of the linemen off of him. Third and three. Come on now, guys. Come on, defense. And it's caught. Oh, dang it. He didn't make a single play forward like he didn't make a football move forward so the the forward progress is going to count which gives them a fresh set of downs that's a good call though because he didn't really move at all after he got knocked backwards he just didn't get tackled another rpo to flowers and oh flowers hurt on the play he did get hit pretty hard and somehow it's a wrist injury okay i thought maybe it would like Got the wind knocked out of him. He sort of got speared there, but second and four as Jackson incomplete looking for Andrews. Devin White, he was there like at the millisecond that that ball hit Andrews in the hands and broke it up. Third down. Jackson over the middle, wide open. Rashid Shahid, and he's down to the one. That was a beautiful throw. He dropped that into, into the bucket in between all of those defenders and Shahid almost gets himself into the end zone but now that sets Baltimore up with a chance to make this a 10 point game once again hand off no oh my god did he get destroyed Timmy Baker absolutely demolishing Lamar J he's looking around he doesn't know where he's at I don't blame him And a handoff. Stevenson. Oh, it's a fumble! We got it! 
We get the fumble recovery. Stevenson coughed it up. That right there may have just changed the course of this second half. And it was Devin White putting an absolute hit on Stevenson. And Neal recovers. But now we got to make something out of this here. We're backed up on our own three. We got to go 97 yards. Handoff. Samuel up the gut. He'll take it for four. Empty set from our own seven. I don't know if I love this or hate this. I'll, I'll find out in a few seconds. Second down. Here we go. Chambers quick snap over the middle. It's Blake. And he'll get the first we need. Give us a, a, some nice breathing room. First down from the 16. Another handoff to Samuel, but he gets met by... Who was that? That Matabuke? Yeah. I probably said that wrong. I'm sorry if I did. Second and eight. Chambers takes a snap. Looking left side. Caught by White. And he's going to get out of bounds at the 33. Another big pickup. Quick pass to Godwin. And it goes for six. I'm surprised Godwin was ready for that. I mean, that, that came out fast. And off to White. He gets a nice crease. And he'll get the first down. Eight carries, 47 yards for him. We're having ourselves a really good day on the ground. Much better than I anticipated. First down. Play action. Chambers steps up in the pocket. He looks to run and he just slides, taking a few yards. I like that. Don't try to force it, man. You've done that too many times today. Take what's in front of you, even if it's a few yards, live to see another day. Go oh, another handoff to Samuel. We seal the edge beautifully, and Samuel is loose. Down to the 25. What an incredible job by the line and the fullback, and hell, even the receivers. I mean, they completely sealed that edge. And he didn't have any contact until he's 20 yards downfield, pretty much. This is the play, like, this is the drive we needed after that turnover. Empty set here. Chambers looking downfield, almost throws another one. This guy has got to calm down. He is trying to force them into some very tight windows right now. And it is about to cost us in a big way if he does not relax and stop doing this. Chambers going up over the top. Godwin's open. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. And we're going to take the lead towards the end of this third quarter. What a beautiful throw and a great route by Chris Godwin. Look at this. Just a beautiful little touch pass right in the bread basket. 23 didn't know what happened. He got lost in the sauce. And Godwin's going to get us the lead here. 24 to 20. So we got a quick stop on defense. And now we're back with a four-point lead and a chance to extend that lead. We are down a couple of starters, though. Anthony Moore and Kalijah Kansi are both gone, and they have not come back. Moore just got hurt on the last drive. Kansi a couple of drives before that, and I was hoping to see him come back through, but I, just, I haven't seen it yet. Godwin makes the catch for six, and oh my God, we did nothing to stop Patrick Queen. Absolutely nothing. And he's going to get us for a loss of one and put us in a tough third down right away. Chambers once again calling an audible here. Going to an empty set. Takes the snap. Goes over the middle. It's James Blake again with a big shot. Down to the 45. Six catches, 73 yards. As that brings us to the end of the third quarter. Fourth and final quarter coming up. And we have ourselves one hell of a game. Now in Baltimore territory. From the 45. Offside eye for Samuel. Morgan in motion. It's going to go to Samuel. And he does not get much. They'll say he gets a yard. As he closes in on a 100-yard performance for himself. Here we go. Same thing to the opposite side. 
And Samuel not able to get away from anything. And there's a flag. And I think this is going to be holding. Yes, it is. Holding on James Blake. Going to push us back to the 45 of our own territory and make it second and 19. Pistol look, hand off to White. And we barely get it. I do not like that call, man. We should have done something much better than that on second and 19. And now it's third and 17, and we're probably going to have to punt this thing away. Unless some big time play happens. Like that right there, James Blake. What a throw from Chambers, and what a catch by Blake. I thought for sure that pass was going to be incomplete. But Chambers just puts it on a rope. And right outside the reach of Marlon Humphreys. It gets us down inside a field goal range inside the red zone. Wow, what a tremendous play. A gutsy play by Chambers given the day he's had today. And he's going for the end zone, but he undershoots Trey Palmer again. Him and Palmer, they have been having issues all season long. Completing the, that corner out there. It strikes here again in the Super Bowl. Second down, quick snap. Chambers looking to Blake again. He makes the catch, turns up field, and he's down at the six yard line, another first. James Blake, eight catches, 120 yards. He has been unstoppable for us today. Chambers takes a snap. Under pressure, he's pushed out of the pocket. He just throws it out of the back of the end zone. I like that. I think he sensed that he wasn't going to be able to get out of harm's way. And he just chucked it up to give us, you know, an, another shot. Second and goal. Another pass. Chambers steps up. He's going to try to run with it. And he is dropped at the two. Third and goal. Big set here for us. Samuel in the backfield. This goes to the handoff to the fullback, and it doesn't go anywhere. Nick Morgan could not get it done, and we're going to have to settle for three. But it will be the first time we'll have a seven-point lead in this game. McClellan puts it up, and it is good. 27-20 to 20 with just over eight minutes left in the Super Bowl. Lamar Jackson comes back out here. They need a big play, well, a few big plays, as Paul Bronson breaks up that pass, forcing second down. Down by seven. Oh, they're going to this look. This is what they run the read option out of, and that's exactly what they do. They give it to Stevenson, but we read it well. Devin White making plays again. We have completely demolished the run game of the Baltimore Ravens. Oh. Jackson calling an audible. He sees something. Let's see if what he sees is good. Third and 11. Over the middle. And it is. Rashad Bateman comes flying open. All the way down inside the 20. And finally wrangled down by Duke Shelley at the 16. An incredible play there by Lamar Jackson. He read the defense. He saw what was coming. And he finds a soft spot in that zone. Leaving Bateman all alone. And if you thought Baltimore was just going to go away after losing this lead, you were mistaken. They are right back in it, just 16 yards away from tying this game up. Underneath incomplete. Davis make, breaks it up. Jackson takes a snap. He's going to trust his arm again. And he trusts Bateman again for a short gain of three. Third and seven. Five for 98 for Rashad Bateman. He has had a pretty good day. Very good day. Jackson running around. He looks to run with it. He's got an angle to the end zone, and he's forced out at the one. Just shy, but it's going to be enough for a first down, and it's going to keep this drive alive. What an incredible display of effort from the MVP. Hand off to Stevenson. He's going to walk in. Touchdown, Baltimore. 27 all. All right. 
Now we have to go down and we have to regain this lead. Hand off to White up the middle. Oh, wow, a nice juke right past Marlon Humphrey. He gets it out to the 39. Nice, uh, nice run up the middle. Closing in on the five-minute mark in this game. A nice long drive here with a touchdown would really, would really make me happy. Oh, a little screen there to Wharton. And it works. Gets us 10 yards and a first down. Wharton was very heavily targeted in the first couple of drives, and he's been very, very quiet since. And oh my God, Patrick Queen has been a monster against us in the run game today, and he does it there. Second and 13, a big loss. A big stop for this defense. We're going to go right back to the run. Oh, White breaks free. He's got the first. No, they're going to say he's short. Oh, man, I think he had that. I don't know. Third and inches. Samuel in the backfield. We'll hand it off. He easily gets it. And a little bit more down to the 30. Rashad White finding a way through that traffic on the last play, or two plays ago, to get us to that third and inches is huge. And now we're going to go right back to him. And he's pushed forward. A nice gain of five. Closing in on the red zone here. Second and five. Hand off to Samuel. He gets demolished again. It's Patrick Queen and Roquan Smith. That brings us to the two-minute warning. 27 all offset eye. Morgan in motion. It's a handoff. Saquon Samuel gets around the edge. Down inside the 10 and shoved down at the 9. Great job readjusting his where he was going. Good job of the blockers going with him and keeping up with that edge. And we'll get a big run. A minute 20 and ticking. And now we're playing the, the long game here. Hand off to White. And he's going to walk in. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. We're going to take a seven-point lead with a minute left in the Super Bowl. Rashad White doing it again. And the line once again holding up. Godwin out there pushing down blocks. And now we're just a minute 13 away from our first Super Bowl victory of this franchise. The kick is up. It is good, 34 to 27. Out comes Lamar Jackson. He's down by seven. And they want him themselves, of course, a touchdown to tie this thing up. Can our defense make one more stand? Jackson back, looks over the middle. He's got a wide open Mark Andrews. And he gets it to the 43. No timeout call. They're conserving him. 50 seconds left. Takes another snap. Big drop back. Jackson over the middle. It is caught, but it's not going to be enough for the first. And they're going to have to call their first timeout. 44 seconds. Empty backfield for Jackson. And a quick one again. Let him keep taking these short plays. I'll take them all day. Second timeout burned. 41 seconds. Jackson over the middle. It's completed to Bateman again. Down to the 23. No timeout called. 22 seconds and ticking. Jackson back. Going to the end zone. And it's caught. It's Rashid Shaheed for the touchdown. And Baltimore is going to tie things up with less than 20 seconds on the clock. They went all the way down the field in less than a minute and torched us on almost every play. And now they're about to tie this thing up and potentially push this to overtime. Just as I anticipated, we didn't try anything. We just accepted that we're going to OT, and here we are. It's been an incredible game. Why not continue it with some extra action? And here we go. The Ravens electing to receive. They will open up OT. And if they have anything left from that last drive, they're definitely looking to pull it out here, but we need to find a way to stop it. We need this defense to step up, hand off to Stevenson. He gets through the first crack, and he gets out to the 30. A nice run 
Very patient run, finding the lanes that were available to him. And now they're going back to this, this look. We've seen this look before. They run multiple plays out of this. we got to be ready for it. And this time they just go straight to Stevenson, who is going to force himself through the traffic and get the first. That was a big play, first and 10. It looked like he got held up behind the line, but he keeps his feet moving. And it pays off. Same formation. Oh, no, it's an end around to Bateman. And Bateman brought down to 39 or 41. First time we've seen that one today. Second and four. Oh, play action. Jackson looking deep left side. It's incomplete. Oh, man, that we are lucky that, that, that either the route or the throw was off target because he was wide open. Third and four. Jackson under pressure. He goes down. What a clutch play from Frankie Louvu. And now we have our own chance here to end this game. 34 all. Our defense did their job. Now we just got to do ours on offense. Chambers looks short. He completes it to Trey Palmer. A nice throw over the middle. Gets us out to the 28. Hand off to Samuel. And my God, the Ravens defense was ready for it. Buried him for a loss of one. It was Deron Payne, the former commander. As now White takes the handoff and he gets annihilated. And now it's third and nine. I'm not liking this. We're going to go empty set here. Here we go. Chambers under pressure. Throws it deep. And it's off target. Jackson takes the snap. Rolls out to his right. Looks short. It's caught by Mark Andrews. And Andrews out to the 45. We have got to be careful here because we know they've got a very good kicker. And this could end the game. Hand off Stevenson. They'll shut it down just shy. Second and eight. That is still in the game. Thanks to the injury to Anthony Moore. Jackson takes the snap. Looking short. It's completed. And that pretty much puts them in field goal range now to end this game. But they're going to stay going with the plays here. First and ten. And it's a handoff to Jackson. And he's going to lose two. Second and twelve. Can the defense step up just two more times here? And it's a handoff again. And they're going to lose. Oh, well, they don't lose him. But it's close. It's right at the line. Third and 12. Come on, defense. One more play. We got to have it. Johnson in motion. It's another handoff. And we shut it down. Fourth and 12 from the 42. And now what do the Ravens do? Do they try to pin us deep or do they try a 59-yard field goal, I think it is? They're going for the field goal. 59 yards with Justin Tucker. We're going to call a timeout. Try and ice the kicker a little bit. But it all comes down to this. 59-yard attempt from Justin Tucker. The snap. It's up. It's got the leg. And it is good. And the Ravens, with an incredibly short drive to tie the game at the end, end up ending our season just three points shy of a Super Bowl. Man, what a nail biter. That is a that's a tough way to lose, guys. That is a tough way to lose this game. I thought we had it, man. I really did. After that big drive in the fourth quarter, I, I just I thought we had it. 
But in the end, the Ravens hold on, bounce back, and they will end up being the Super Bowl champions, and we are going to go back to the drawing board. Still looking for that first Lombardi. Well, guys, we made a really good run, and it looked as if we might be able to get ourselves a Super Bowl there at the end, but we ended up falling apart at the very, very end of the game, and the Baltimore Ravens, they capitalized. And now we're going to end up moving on to the offseason once again, wondering if we're going to be able to find ourselves a Super Bowl championship. So uh, that that's all I got for you guys, man. Let me know what you guys want me to do with this franchise. I mean, we're really close to, to Madden. We're really close to college football dropping. Um, I don't know if you guys want me to just start doing some like, like hour, hour and a half long things about like, going through a whole season or something, you know, speeding things up. Or if you just want me to just continue this until Madden 25 drops, um, just let me know what you guys want me to do. But as for this video, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, make sure you hit that like button before you leave. It helps me out tremendously. Subscribe if you're new here. Put on that bell notification so you know when anything drops. And I will see you guys next time.